I am Josh Byerly, a public affairs officer here at NASA's Johnson Space Center. We're standing inside Building 9, which is the Space Vehicle Mock-Up Facility. This is where we have the mock-ups of the Space Shuttle and also the International Space Station. And we have a new addition. It's the Orion spacecraft. And here today to give us a quick tour of it is going to be Jeff Fox. Jeff is a senior engineer who is working on the inside of the Orion spacecraft. So let's go ahead and take a look inside, Jeff. Yeah, sure thing, John. We're going to walk in through the side hatch right here. And you might notice this is a little bit bigger than Apollo. It's set up so that we can actually take six people from the station and get them down to the ground. We can take four people up to the lunar orbit. Uh, right now, you'll see that there's four of these seat-looking devices right here. One I'm sitting on, one next to me, and two right here. There are two seats that aren't in here right now, so this is kind of what it would look like when we're set up for, for uh, lunar operations. Now there will obviously be some other boxes and things in here for the real vehicle. This is a low fidelity uh, mock-up, so we're just testing different concepts in here. Uh, anyway, uh, we have the docking hatch overhead. And if you take a look up here real quick, that's where when we're docked to the space station or when we're docked to the lunar lander, that the crew would actually go through that tunnel and that hatch to get to the other environment. Other things that you see inside here, are these uh, stowage area, which is actually down where we're standing on. It's below our feet. That's where all the clothing and food and any portable little devices, like maybe a laptop or something like that, would be stowed underneath. Now, what you're looking at here again is the launch and landing configuration. So when we get to orbit, we're going to have to move some of this out of the way so we can get access to that equipment and then spread it around the cabin. And we can take things like clothes and laptops and things and we can stick them to the wall because we're in zero G. There is no real ceiling or no floor. So we have the ability to spread things out and use up all the space in here. Now, one of the other key areas is over in this display and control area. Right. And the prime operators of the vehicle actually sit up underneath here. And I'll lay down the seat in just a minute. But let me first point out that there's some windows up here. Now, there's four of them. There's, a, there's two side windows, which are indicated with this black here and one on the opposite side. And there's two forward windows. Now, those are primarily used you know, for your rendezvous and docking operations to your other vehicles or just to look out when you're in a launch or landing configure type of situation where you want to see where the horizon is and you know uh, what angles the horizon my vehicle is my my vehicle and the right uh, configuration for flying in and, and those kind of things but why don't I lay in the seat here and I'll give you a feel of what the display and controls look like if you're able to swing the camera around here basically what we have is three displays basically what your computer monitor you're probably looking at this right now looks like. If you have a flat panel, uh, it might be turned where it's more like a landscape on the side. Ours are just turned up and down like a piece of paper. And that's about the size of a piece of paper inside. We have, we, when we interface with the displays, there's several ways to do it. Uh, one of the concepts is to have some push buttons and some knobs that allow us to maneuver inside the display to execute something that's in the display like turn a pump on or a fan. When we're in the launch and landing configuration, when we're all strapped in our seats and our spacesuits, we can't really be reaching up here doing that kind of thing. So we're grabbing a device down by our side probably that allows us to maneuver, you know, something like your mouse or something in your display, and we're still working out the details of that. Now one interesting thing about this cockpit is there's very few switches like you see on any air airplane. Most of the controls for this vehicle are embedded inside of the display. So we have to be able to turn something off and on in the software. Another area that's really unique to this is a procedure. You've probably had a procedure. You've read directions when you're trying to put something together. Well, that's on paper today and probably everything you're used to. <clears throat> but we're going to put that inside software. And that's represented by this text you see up here. So all our displays are electronic. So it gets rid of a lot of paper. That's right. It gets rid of a lot of paper, but it is a challenge to do because unlike a book you could just put on your lap and put a dog ear on the page or a yellow sticky or write in, you know, it's not as easy when it's fixed in this monitor up here. Right. So hopefully that gives you some feel for how the display and control station is laid out. You know, we'll also have a, a, some kind of electronic keypad with numbers on it as a backup to allow us to enter things. We'll have some control devices to 
to fly the vehicle uh, when we're doing rendezvous. Um, anyway, um, that should help give you a good overview. Any, any, any other questions, Josh? I think that's it, Jeff. We appreciate your time. And we appreciate you taking the time to take a look. Thanks.